Okay, so this is uh, called the card sorting technique. Uh, quite simply, you need some pieces of paper. Uh, you get an A4, cut it up into about eight parts, and these become cards. When you have finished doing that initial uh, question and answer sort of strategy session at the start, who are your customers, what's your product, what's your image, those questions. Uh, then we sit down, we get everyone to sort of sit down at a table and, and then you give everyone about 15 cards each. So if there's a few people helping you, 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 know, you hand out the cards to everybody. And then you introduce to them this concept known as the card sorting technique. Now, the first thing you need to do is assist them and show them, I guess, an example of what you're looking for and then allow them to write the answers themselves. So everyone, uh, what we're doing right now is uh, brainstorming and getting all the information out in your head that you would like to have on your website. Uh, for example, uh, on your website, you know, it'd be quite good to have um, a contact form. So you write the word contact form, like that, and then you put the piece of paper aside. You ask, or maybe on, you could have a location map of where you're located. And you write that out as well. And so what I want everyone to do is, you know, write down about 10 to 15 ideas each that you want to have on your website. And just allow them to go into their own little world and uh, come up with their own ideas. So one of the tricks is when they're writing all these answers out, it's always good to do a bit of an audit on their current website. Um, I go through and uh, before I arrive at the customer, I'll um, look at their current site and I'll write down some ideas. So when you get to the place, um, you know, you can just whack them into the pile. So after about two or three minutes, maybe more, depending on the size of the organization or business, you then prompt people to give you cards to you. You put them all in one little bit of a pile. Or if there's a lot of you, you ask them just to start laying them out. And you always want to lay them out so people can read them from one direction. And so you can give them to someone else uh, in the room or whoever else has got their cards. You hand out the, uh, the cards to another person and then you lay them all out into the pile. So once you've got everything laid out, then you need to start to sort out the piles into logical related piles. So here we've got registration form and we've got here register. So they go together and you have a look around for things like where well, you've got sponsors logos, um, maybe there's something else related to sponsors logos. If you can't find anything, you just keep moving on. Well, there's partners, sponsors logos. You might have a design pile. So there's logo, um, slogan on the top. So they go together. And then you just step back and you allow them to sort them out. And they normally come in and they work together as a team and they, they throw ideas off each other and so forth. So after a while, you'll, you'll start to get some of these piles working themselves out. You keep sorting them out. And I always find that if you, once you start to sort them, you put them in a bit of a line. So we've got here, links, contact, contact details, contact form, privacy policy, terms and conditions. And then you get some spare bits of paper and you line them up on top of the piles and you prompt the client to you know, give you a name of the pile. If you were to put this into a filing cabinet, you know, what would you call that suspension folder? Or, you know, if you were going to be, you know, why did you form that pile? So you pick them up and you go, so squares at the bottom, slogan, rotating images, logo. Well, I think the reason why we've got a pile called that is because that's all design. So you write the word design sort of design criteria and then you underline it and so that pile's done and you pick up another one you do one or two just to get them started contact contact details contact so that could be called contact and at this point in time you can even start to write things like contact us and then introduce the concept that this could be a page on the website that contains that information. It's up to you, you don't have to give it away straight away. At the moment, keep things simple and talk to them about filing away all these pieces of paper. 
So you allow them to come up with their own name. Sponsors, stakeholders, partners. Partners, well, that could just be called partners. Sometimes there's one in the pile that could be called that. Occasionally you can rewrite it or you can just use that again. So here we've got another pile. What will I get out of it? What is the digital economy? What is the win program? Why should I attend? That could be why. Over here we've got some more key dates, agenda, consultation, seminar, workshops, workshops, seminars, seminars, workshops, workshops. So maybe that could be called the program. So it's made up of workshops, seminars and things like that. So at the moment you can do that at the moment. Register now, register, register, yeah, register. And just work your way through the piles. Terms and conditions, privacy policy, terms and conditions, card we accept. Cards we accept, there's a few double ups here. Um, in this instance, I call this the footer. Because I know that I want to put all that in the footer of the website, so you just write that if you want to. You don't have to do that, but that's what I recommend. After a while, you get to sort of the end, and you might want to prompt them by writing the word home, H-O-M-E. And I always put that at the left-hand side, and then I grab the contact, or in this case, the contact us, and I put that at the right. Now here we've got an EU sign-up. So that can go on the home page. We've got the footer, so that could go on the, the bottom of the home page. We've got here program, look at this, program agenda. So that can all go in the one pile. Um, why, you could have why. Partners. We've got another one here called who. So, you know, who should sign up? Why should you sign up? what you're signing up for, the partners, this is called links, that's pretty good, so links, ah, here we are, register, so maybe links goes last, partners, maybe once they know why they should go, who should go, what they're going to, then they can register, here's some design, and then you sort of test it out a little bit, so for example, under program, that's quite a big pile there, Let's have a little look. We've got program, program, so we can put that up there. Agenda, agenda. Key dates, seminar, seminars, aim of seminars. Workshop dates, workshops, workshops, workshop outcomes, consultation. At this point in time, you can actually do drop downs. So you do a circle, just so you know the difference. You can do double underline, however you like to work, doesn't really matter. And so now here you can see that program is the primary navigation. Then we've got agenda, seminars, workshop, and one-on-one -on -one consultations. So after a while here, you've got yourself some primary navigation running along the top. But you can also put what's called promo squares on the home page to prompt people to go into the website, somewhere really important. So you have a little look at the side and you say, what do I want this website to achieve? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want them to, you want to get registrations. That's the main thing. So we'll have a little look in here. See, we've got a register now one. So I would put that on the home page. Uh, the other thing you might want to, learn about is the agenda, so when the workshops are. And then here, you've got here key dates, or agenda, that might be good enough. So we put that on the home page as well. Sometimes you might want to write them out twice, so you know that these are on the home page, but also within this section, you've also got uh, content that can go in there. The last thing is, so it's sort of register online, the agenda, and maybe just a few facts and figures of why they should even do the program. So, facts and figures. 
you know, why does anyone want to do this particular program? I always do squares around my front doors. You can even do little handles on them if you want to. Sometimes I do a little doorknob to, to you. you just, Remember that these are doors into the rest of the website. Promotional squares. Here we've got a new new sign up. You can put that down at the bottom if you like to make them all in some sort of order. Once you've done, I guess, the, the main, the main organisation, you then sit with the client and you sort of say, well, is this the sort of website that you would like? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got about eight pages. We've got some drop downs and some promo squares. This is the website that we're going to quote on. Does this look about right? At that point in time, they can actually visualize. They can visualize the website and they can see, oh, okay, that's how it's going to come together. They can see the site map. So once you've got some agreements, and if you might have to amend a few things, you then pick up all the cards in a nice order. So here you can see I've just picked up the home page design, the why, the who. Then I'll pick up the drop down navigations all in the right order. You know, they, love, they know a lot about their business and you've been able to get that out of them in, a, in an interactive session that allows you to build a website that's going to allow them to achieve their goals. So it's a pretty important part of the whole sales process. Uh, don't forget the design criteria. Uh, they're sort of things like uh, uh, fun, uh, vibrant, rotating images, logo. I put them in a nice pile, put a bull, bull clip on them, lock that away, and there you go. That's the card sorting technique. Uh, it's, a, it's a great session, uh, one that we've used hundreds of times uh, to scope out even the most complex projects. Um, I hope you've learned something, and I uh, look forward to taking you to the next step, which is taking it off paper and putting it onto the computer to get the client to then go on to approve it.